Hi folks. So this is a, a, a little um, a little GPS DO or GPS disciplined oscillator that I, I got off of uh, eBay. It's uh, based on a 2017 design by uh, uh, BG7 TBL. Uh, if you look up some of his designs, he's got um, he, his original design was kind of like a much bigger device with a, a, a printed circuit board on the front of it, and yeah. So he's a he's a ham radio operator from China, and this is based on his design. I don't know if he actually ever manufactures them like this, but uh, some other people, uh, because it was an open uh, open hardware design and open software, uh, have have miniaturize it somewhat makes it look like this so um it's got rs232 out so you can get all the nema information coming down from the satellite a, a small antenna input sma input for the antenna they provide an antenna here i don't know if this is an active antenna or not i think the uh, the ebay ad said it was somewhere um but it you know doesn't look like a very active antenna to me but there you go um, this is all very new to me. So you've got your 10 megahertz output and you've got your one pulse per second output. A couple of lights here. Uh, you have an alarm light that will tell you if, if uh, uh, initially it comes on, it, it, it glows. If it's um, waiting for the internal oscillator to come up to temperature and also the power LED will blink until they, you get uh, a lock, a GPS lock. Um, so we'll see how that goes when I plug it in, see how quickly they stabilize. Um, yeah, it's a nice little unit. It's, it's, it fits anywhere on the bench. Uh, you can, you know, plug a little thing in like that into your uh, gap between some other things like that. Um, I'm going to mostly just use it to um, check out the adjustable oscillators that I do have and, uh, you know, set them up. Um, so, look, I have some frequency counters here, which I'm going to do right away one of them is my little hewlett packard um measuring system frequency counter I, I, I love that thing i love it. i'm going to set that up as soon as i get this up and running and let it settle down for a day or two and um yeah so that's what my main use for this is to, to just calibrate my equipment that has a reference um reference oscillators in it and it comes with this little power supply here it's a dve um which you know i've i've seen these before so it's 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 not like an unknown uh brand so it should be fairly good uh one amp at five volts and uh, the little antenna so what i'm going to do i'm going to stick this little antenna up in the i have a window here at the back of the lab i'm going to stick the antenna up in there and then plug it all in and when i'm ready to turn it on uh we'll do a little handheld shot of that and uh we'll go from there Okay, let me set up for that. Okay, the antenna has been put up in the window, so let's um, get this hooked up. The antenna is hooked up now, and uh, let's plug the power in. There's no power switch on it, so we'll just plug the power in and see how long it takes to settle down and um, how long it takes to, to fix it on the satellites. Okay, so that's, uh, it looks like it's got a lock on the satellite already. And this will go out when we get uh, a clean signal from it. I don't know how long that's going to take, but in the meantime, I'm going to hook it up to the oscilloscope. Okay, so now it, I've got both the 10 megahertz and the one pulse per second hooked up to the oscilloscope. You can see the one pulse per second up at the top, and you can see the 10 megahertz down at the bottom. You can also see at the it's adjusting, so it's it's getting signals in from the satellite system, and it's adjusting the oscillator. And it's probably going to take a little bit of time before that 10 megahertz stabilizes completely with the one pulse per second. Um, so we're going to we're probably going to leave this sit. For a day or two before we do anything with it, so that it can finish getting itself in in good order. You can see that the red light is still on, so the maximum accuracy hasn't been reached yet. Um, but once that red light goes off, 
um, then we should be all set. We should then have uh, you know less than I, th I think the the specification is less than 0.1 hertz um, stability. So yeah, so we'll just we'll just wait for that to happen, and uh, we'll come back when in a couple of days. Uh, it'll be just an instant for you guys. But we'll come back with the counter, and uh, hopefully by that time the this thing will have stabilized, and uh, we'll be all set to go ahead and calibrate my little counter. See you then. So what we're going to do, we're going to use that new GPS DO and we're going to use it to set this up. This uh, Hewlett Packard 5300B measuring system universal counter. Uh, this, is, this is just the cutest little device. I just love this thing. I mean it's so well built. It's such a nice idea. It's so compact and uh, it, it's it's nicely designed it has a a uh, oven controlled oscillator built into it uh, but it drifts a little bit and uh, so what i'm going to do now that i have the gbsd of my own i'm going to set it up to that uh, make sure that i can get it as close as possible and then see how it goes over time and what i might do um, is change the oven controlled oscillator and this to something a little bit more modern if if uh, this one indeed can't uh, keep stable. So anyway, um, this this is uh, I've been warming this up. I've been warming up the the uh, the uh, GPS DO, and um, so what I'm going to do is take this apart uh, right now, then plug it back in and get the oscillator going. And it's so easy to take these things apart. You just pull these little tabs at the back here, and the thing just basically comes apart into different modules. Um, I have for this a, a, a different module as well, another module which can be combined. I mean, you can put all three of them together. Um, it's a it's a digital to analog converter. I just can't figure out any use for it right now, but I have it if I can ever figure out what to do with it. But basically what it does in this application here, if you put in a, a, a signal into the frequency counter, um, it, this will change that frequency to an output voltage. So you can you know, hook it up to a chart recorder or some other data recording device to uh, get that information. But uh, right now I can't think of an application for that, but it, it's a equally cool little module itself. So basically there's, there's two parts here. So there's the frequency counterpart on the bottom. Um, so we don't have to deal with that ourselves right now. Um, Oscillator is up in here, the oven controlled oscillator. What I need to do is I need to remove that screw there. And then you just push these tabs here aside while lifting up on the card. That'll get the thing to come out of the case. Everything's easier said than done, isn't it? Okay, so there we have the main unit with the oscillator. There's the oscillator in that can right there. And uh, we get into the adjustment in it through that screw there. Let me remove that as well. Now we'll just plug everything back together again. It's so nicely made that it, you, you can, like, it, they hold up, the boards hold themselves apart, even with the case off it, so that you can actually do things like this. Now I'm going to use this uh, scope probe here, which I'm going to put into the oscillator output on the back of it that way we'll be able to pick up the oscillator in here and i'm also going to put the oh, good Lord. i'm going to put the gps do into the input we got a reading on here um so you can see it's coming up uh 9,999, yeah, that's not the range I want to be on, is it? Yeah, that is the range I want to be on. 
So just the decimal place seems to be in the wrong place here. I don't know, that's okay, so that's in, in kilohertz. It's a 10 second gate on this. So yeah, so we're at uh, 9,999 kilohertz. So 9,999.993. So we're about seven hertz off. So let's, uh, let's see if we can adjust that to get it better. You'll see also on the scope there, So on the scope, uh, we can see that uh, down here, the um, green trace, that's the GPS DO. And this purple trace up top here, it's what's coming out of the little Hewlett Packard here. And that's coming uh, directly off the, the OCXO. So let's, uh, let's start adjusting this and see if we can get it uh, a little bit close. So when that when the trace there stops uh, rolling, and we get a little bit closer to the GPSDO, then the display at the front uh, it's a little bit uh, twitchy here. I can't, I can't seem to get it to stop there. Uh, it's already starting to drift. So, but this this now should be reading, yeah. So the, over light, the overflow light goes on, which means it's a one. And so that's exactly 10 megahertz that's reading there right now. So the, and uh, yeah, it's a little bit finicky. I'm gonna leave it at that uh, because I did try, I set this up to a, a friend's GPS CEO a couple of months ago. And we had the same sort of thing there. We twiddled with it, twiddled with it, and then it would either it would either go one way or the other after a few seconds, and then you know even just coming down here, touching the oscillator, just touching the can. See. So this is uh, I mean it might have been fine way 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 back when, but uh, I mean even a, a a cheap little one like the three dollar oscillators that I have here. Um, Something like this. One second. Something like, like this little item here. Yeah, I could make a little daughter board to go in there with that on it, and uh, an adjustment pot, and uh, maybe a little buck converter because I think this runs off at 12 volts. Um, these these can suck back quite a bit, so I don't know if I could, you know. I know that this uh, power supply here has both 12 and 5 volts available, but I don't know whether or not uh, the 5 volts has got the capability to drive this, but I do know the 12 volts does because it can drive this one here, which is much bigger, warmer, consumes a lot more current. So if I've got a little buck converter and um, an adjustment and put all that on a little daughter board and plop it in there, that, that's an idea. But right now, um, we're pretty close. So how long is it taking to go past there? Uh, about two, three seconds. So, yeah, you'd be off by uh, half a hertz or something like that. Um, that's just reading on one hertz here. Hi. So we're we're a little bit better than what we were, but. Uh, Well, that's basically it. I'm gonna I play around with it um, over the next little while, just to uh, you know see if I can get a little bit better and see if it stabilizes. But uh, yeah, that's pretty good there. But like I say, you know, just 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 touching the oscillator <laughs> and it begins to drift. And that's it for today. I'll get this all put back together and I'll I'll report back at some point whether or not uh, I'm going to go ahead with the oscillator change, and I probably will. But yeah, having the GPS DO is a handy little way to be able to calibrate your devices so that they're all sort of more or less um, dancing the same tune. Thanks for watching, guys. Uh, if you like this at all, give me a like and subscribe, and I'll see you in the next video.